Let's talk about something that mostly every single person experienced one time or another. You may have even experienced this on a daily basis, and that is procrastination. So I want to share the number one secret on how to stop procrastinating with one simple fix. This simple fix can literally increase your productivity, save you more time, increase your overall mood, and boost your overall performance, which leads you to completely hitting um, all of your goals, whether it's weight loss, getting healthier, um, becoming a better mom, or becoming a better spouse, you name it. Whatever you want to get better at, this will help you do just that. So let's first start with where procrastination comes from. And it comes from a lack of discipline. And you may be thinking to yourself right now, like, oh, darn it. Like, I don't have a lot of discipline. I'm going to be stuck forever. But you're wrong. And I will tell you why. Because you were not born with discipline. Discipline is a learned skill. And it's very, very similar to a muscle whenever we work out. So the more practice, the more um, you'll be able to get better with discipline because you're continuous, continuously practicing it. So you may have associated someone that you know, um, someone, anyone that you see who's successful with how disciplined they are. And you're right because those people who are successful learned the art of being disciplined. But you can learn the exact same way they did, but it's really by implementing small habits that really allow you know your discipline muscle to get stronger. That's what I call it, because it's really like a muscle. The more you practice it, the better it gets. So just like anything, you have to practice, but with that, you need to know how to practice. You know, you can't just say, I'm gonna be disciplined, you have to practice. And that's where this number one secret will teach you. So how can you start becoming disciplined is really the million dollar question. How can you stop procrastinating? And here's how you start. When you practice doing things, even when you don't want to do them, you will start to become more disciplined. When you learn to do things anyway, pushing through the resistance. So we do these things actually, no matter what, without even knowing it. Uh, we do it every day. It's really applying that same principle to everything we do. So something that we all do, for example, is, you know, we're all disciplined to wake up in the morning and go to work or go to school. And I'm sure you can agree that, especially on a Monday morning, there's a lot of resistance. You don't want to go. Um, you know, it's a lot harder on Monday than it is during the week, but you push through. You push through the resistance because you know you have to go to work. And that is practicing discipline because you may even be thinking, you know, oh, what a horrible example, you know, of course I have to go to work or else I'm not going to get paid. But it is literally the exact same thing with any other task that's giving you resistance because it's giving you the same uh, resistance. You just disciplined yourself to get up and go anyway. You still have to fight through that feeling and that emotion of not wanting to do something and doing it anyway. So how can we practice this behavior and really allow it to trickle into our everyday life? And this is where my secret comes in. And the secret is the five minute rule. The five minute rule stops you from procrastinating and it really allows you to get the hardest part over with. The hardest part of anything that you do is starting. So if you can put a system in place that allows you to kind of push through the resistance of starting, you already won half the battle because starting is always the hardest for everyone. I remember when I used to knock doors, the hardest thing to do was to get out of the car. That was the hardest door, my car door. So I always preach about starting something new and taking baby steps to get there. Because even 1% better is better than doing nothing and that's how I came up with the five minute rule in the first place. Because Essentially, five minutes is better than no minutes. So if you exercise for five minutes per day, that is an extra 35 minutes of movement that you didn't get in the week before. That's a lot more than what you did previously. That's progress. If you cleaned your house for five minutes per day, you would have an extra 35 minutes of cleaning. 
So something as simple as that makes a big difference. Why is five the magic number, you may ask? Like, where did I get five come from? And the reason why I used the number five is because we all have five minutes. Anytime, anywhere, we can always commit to five minutes. So another reason why five is powerful is because sometimes we procrastinate on tasks that take less than five minutes. So you may not want to do your laundry, but how long does it really take for you to get your laundry basket and fill up your washer machine with clothes? Even if your laundry basket is on the second floor and you have to bring it downstairs, it won't take more than five minutes. Trust me, I know because I've timed it because I hate doing laundry, but I have applied the five minute rule to laundry where it's like, even if I'm super busy, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna do it, it's gonna take me five minutes. It is a lot easier to commit to five minutes than it is to com commit to 35 minutes or 60 minutes. So here's why the five minute rule works and literally why it's the greatest tool to really help you get more disciplined and to stop procrastinating. And I've tried this with so many things and it works every single time. My clients will tell you the same thing because the way you get more disciplined is by consistently practicing the habit of doing things even when you do not want to do it. For example, if you do this with very small tasks starting out, you will already be uh, practicing how to get over the fear of not doing something simply because you don't want to. So the more you fight through the resistance time and time again, no matter how long the task you know, may take, the better you get at doing it for more things because you're already aware of the resistance, but you're choosing to do it anyway. So that's why even doing it with five minute tasks is really, really powerful when you first start out. So the five minute rule allows you to accept the fear and the resistance of not wanting to do something and then committing to that task. Because you know that no matter what, no matter what task, you know, you can commit to five minutes. So it helps you start things no matter what Starting is always the hardest. So this is where the five minute rule really takes things to the next level because that's one way that it really makes a big difference in your productivity. But here's another reason why the five minute rule is a win-win. Because most of the time starting something is the hardest. That's why when I was younger, I hated going to practice. Uh, cheerleading practice, gymnastics, soccer, whatever it was. I would always throw fits about not wanting to go. Um, my mom, my dad would always say, once you go, you're, all, you, you know, you're not going to remember how bad you didn't want to go. You know, once you start, you're going to enjoy it. They would always tell me that. And I still never wanted to go to practice, but they were always right. Every single time they were right because it, it, it applies to the five minute rule. Um, and you may have even been able to relate to this because every single time practice started, no matter how much I didn't want to be there or how tired I was, after five minutes, it got easier. It got better. I was fine. So why am I telling you this story? Because it's very similar to working out. You know, deciding to work out is always the hardest decision because you make all the excuses as to why you don't want to do it or why you can't do it. Now, if you committed to five minutes, just five minutes of exercise, at least you're moving your body for five minutes rather than zero minutes. Now, this is when things get interesting and cool. But what happens when you commit to the five minutes and then you realize it's not so bad after all and then you're doing 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes of exercising? So you actually just tricked your body to be doing more exercise when in fact you only committed to five minutes. But now you ended up doing more because the resistance lessened once you started. So it, you could literally do this with every little task you can imagine. I'm using working out as an example. So if you are someone who wishes you had more time to get things done, you wish you were more productive during your day. You want to start making it. You don't want to start making excuses. Um, you want to start reaching new goals. You want to do things you've never done before. It literally all starts with five. Commit to five minutes. Again, baby steps. Simple because you know you have five minutes, and you will fight through and you'll push through the resistance and you'll complete the task in five minutes 
or less, and that's going to allow you to build the discipline muscle. Or you'll commit to five minutes and you'll do more and you'll exceed your goals. You'll surpass your goals. So you will be more productive as well. So if you're someone looking to really, you know, you're starting, you want to start creating a healthier lifestyle. You want to reach new fitness goals. Maybe you want to reduce all the bloat you're experiencing day to day. Um, your metabolism feels like it went on a permanent vacation and you want to fire it back up. Um, I want you to, um, I want to extend the invite for you to join my seven day bloat blaster challenge. In order for you to succeed and start making strides towards a healthier life, my challenge only requires five minutes per day for you to complete each task. You heard me right, five minutes per day to start making healthier choices, to start feeling more motivated, to feel more energized in your day, to feel lighter, um, to feel less achy, and to just feel more confident. All you need is five minutes. Some of these tasks are overlooked, but I could have promise you if you follow along, you will feel awesome. So go ahead, join below, fill out your name, your email, your phone number to join. Um, I'm really looking forward to having you. And tomorrow, I'll actually be discussing the basic principles on how you can reduce bloat in just seven days. So again, you may know the drill by now. If you like this video, go ahead, comment, share it, um, like it. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.